Assalamualaikum, everybody. Week five of the MB Podcast is officially live with your host, Tofiq Hamza. I want Bassi. Maddie Zubi, psych, he's not here. He's actually in Dubai, <laughs> living his best life. Everybody said it to him. His team went 0-5, which is a shocker. They lost again this week. But we have two special guests. Shazeb, I am a bucket Khan in the building. Thank you for having me. And Hassan, 2K my player. I hit eight threes casually. I shrug, whatever he needs to do. Shaban in the building too. No me. <laughs> no me. So as Big O requested, let's get into the let's charity of the week. Charity. Okay. So uh, this last week's uh, spotlight was uh, for the Uyghur uh, people that are culturally a te- Turkic people living in Central Asia. Um, they are living in an area that's completely controlled by the Chinese government. And the Chinese government completely changed the situation into a police state with extreme surveillance, uh, blanketing cities and villages. So they're in a horrible situation. They were taking them to camps and whatnot. And uh, so please go donate generously. The link's there in the uh, MB forum. So please find that and uh, do your thing, you know. And thank you guys for listening about the Maghrib Salah last week. It was really peaceful. Everybody prayed this week. So awesome job with that. Okay, so let's get into the 7 p.m. games. That was a uh, big bucket Khan's game. How do you feel about your game? I think that was probably the best game we've had as a team. I mean, like, we moved the ball around, played really good on... What is it? All right, we had a, a lot of fouls, though. That's what hurt us, I think. 17 is crazy. Yeah, this... I mean, they only had 16 free throws and stuff. Last week, last week, the game was a little bit rougher. Our offense wasn't really getting going. I felt like it was a little bit forced. This week, though... Everybody shot like it's just this like I said last week, this reminds me of those Atlanta Hawks, Al Horford teams. Like everybody just gets the ball. Very like Shazé twelve shots, Cinder ten shots, like everything is very even. Amen nine shots. Everybody's getting their looks and they shot fifty percent from the field. So like when this team shoots fifty percent from the field, fifty three percent from three, I mean I don't think anybody's gonna beat that. I feel like this is exactly what you'd expect to see from a lot like on paper, you see this Lago squad. I feel like you expect Shazé to be the leading scorer. You expect Sindra to facilitate. You expect Mo Dayan to show up. Uh, the Sindra and Dayan points could fluctuate week to week. Amen's always going to be there for their putback, free throw points, and rebounds every week. So this is uh, ideal Lagos. Finally got it. How do you feel about it, 2K, my player? 34 rebounds is, is, a, is a lot of rebounds. Like, oh. They get busy down there, too. 14 from Amen, 5. Sindra with 6. He's like 5-2. That's a lot. Yeah, yeah. I think Amen's really finding his niche in the team. Like the first two weeks, he didn't really know what to do. This week, he kind of found his spots. He got the dishes from Sinjer and Shazay. Fifteen and fourteen on four for nine, six free throws at the line. Like that, you can't beat. That. <laughs> He's finally getting used to the uh, yeah. that mud Jaime system. He's finally getting used to it. <laughs> Jaime Popovich, he was doing his thing. He was coaching it up on the sideline. <laughs> once we click, I'm telling you, we're gonna be a like, scary team. Yeah, we're still learning right now, but I think once we fully like understand everyone. I, mean, I, I know we discredit them for the, the win they had against us because whatever we're missing four hard and whatnot but they played an amazing game against us it was it's tough to stop I mean with with those types of players it's very tough to stop and they're yet to have a game where Moda Yan completely goes off we know he's good for one 20 to 25 point game where he could go crazy and we know this dude shot for 10 for 12 last week so you know he doesn't miss he just, Word. The Mr. Ball just goes in the basket seriously though Mr. Mr. PR mentioned it though why is he only taking six shots when he's shooting that well like more shots gotta go up from from him. He should be more. Aggressive. Only one ball, bro. Five players that want to shoot. <laughs> but six shots, four for six, so, man. Feed him. That's this. That's gonna be the key. Balancing out the offense. This yeah. team has enough firepower to compete with anybody. On the cash guard side, shout out our not here host Matic. Not coming. <laughs> Didn't really make a difference though. Zero and five. Uh, what are we? What are we looking at? From I this mean, team? Uh, the first first thing is just the horrendous field goal percentage. Uh, Big O was down low, one for nine, like. You know, you know if he's feeling that. Um, it's you can't you can't do that well. I was watching that game, and there were just times where I was like, "These are horrible shots that are going up." Yeah. Like they gotta, they gotta, sure. they gotta fix For that. Sure. And and Mir too. Like he just sometimes it's like he'll drive like, and the ball will just get out of his hands. Like I, I don't magic. nobody magic. magic. Like seriously, yeah. it's like three, four, or five times. Like he drives, and it's like a good drive. It's a, it's a great take. He can convert on it for sure, and then he just loses it. Like yeah. that, that shouldn't be happening. Yeah, he has to. He's a shooter, so like he really has to start hitting yeah. the threes. And then just I don't know. This is from me watching the game, me personally. Like it just, I, it just felt like it took Raza like thirty minutes for him to start attacking the basket yeah. and being aggressive. Like 
It's like most of the game he's playing passive. It's like I feel like every play should be through him. He takes the ball up every play. It shouldn't be like, oh, like, you know, I'm walking up the court. Somebody else took it up. And it's like, oh, we started the play and I'm still in the back court. It shouldn't be happening. Like, he should get it beginning and then just be more aggressive. Like, he, I don't think he started shooting till, literally yeah, till the end of the game. Literally, right the literally when the game is, like, practically, you know, close to over. It's like, yeah, he had an N1-3. It's too little too late, you know? So that's just my take on so, it. I mean, to that point, he was 5 or 9. He was the only one that shot at least well, so... The team needs more spacing. They, like, they can't shoot. That's it. Uh, outside of yeah, me. Outside there. of me, but if he's not yeah, Maddox, hot, Maddox not there. So, I yeah. <laughs> I think with Maddox and Mohamed, I think it makes a difference. Yeah, yeah. Maddox and Mohamed will make a difference. I mean, Maddox is averaging thirteen points. Mohamed is another big body to put put on Amen and just like annoy them down low. But overall, I mean, Hasn has to play better. I mean, sure. right, he's the best scorer on the team, and. 0 for 4, 7 for 19 is not going to cut it the week before. Mm -hmm. 3 for 16 is not going to cut it. He's got to stop eating popcorn before the games. He can't be dropping the ball. And <laughs> like Hassan said, Raz has got to be more assertive. Like he, he did his thing the first four games. He was trying to find people, get people going. But you notice, you know, you got to know personnel of your squad. You got to know when to attack and when not to, and when to pass. So they got to figure it out because they have enough talent to at least make games competitive. Like they cannot be 0 and 5. Mm -hmm. They have. I think they're gonna win. Too. Raza, big for sure, they have to. Yeah, yeah. they have to. That team should not be uh, like just one, please. Yeah. Like, they not winning this week, but you know, we'll talk about that later. <laughs> they winning this week, though. So. Come on, I'm here. I, mean, I saw what we did last week. week. Took care of business. All right, so uh, leading into it, let's get into the eight PM game. Let's make the game. Shocker, Daka with the W. I know you guys all expected it. Listen, yeah, I just want him. Don't be for MVP. That's just that's Wait, just me. Don't be. It has to be. I thought Shadi, bro. I just want him. Yeah, MVP. MVP. No cap. He was water. He was not missing, bro. He really. He got the ball. He's like he had two or three. Shout out to my guy. He's the best. He's the best three for three, hundred percent from the field. He <laughs> no, made Shazay look like his field goal percentage was nothing. Shadi for MVP. Uh, but seriously though, uh, Amir Koyas coming back was huge defensively. I mean, we were finally able to play man and not get beat on every single play. Uh, on the on the other hand, Amir Koyas and Mana did their thing down low. They found chemistry together, and yeah, I found my way. I was a little bit more assertive to start the game, and you know, I. Scored a pretty good amount, and with uh, Zishan and Ed facilitating, I think we just played a lot better overall. Amir was huge. Amir offensively and defensively, I think, is the key. He just gives us another option, another outlet, so yeah, it's great. I would love to see more of, uh, I need people to start getting to Ed's head. <laughs> or him getting that was head. such a good watch. You want to pull watch. You want to effort from Ed? Start talking, Yo. please. <laughs> Shout out to big, big GM. Big commish becoming a facilitator. First time I think in his career he's only taken four shots. And we all know it takes about twenty threes a game. So shout out to Big Commish pulling the team first trying to get this Yo. W. Oh man, extremely impressed from this team. Like uh like what what was it that really that like really started to get you guys to like offensively at least? I think we were just like so in our heads and we always felt like we were starting slow. We actually started like good this time. We looked up at the score and we were like, Oh my god, we're, we're, we're actually doing winning. It. We're, we're actually doing winning it. in the first five minutes. <laughs> And, you know, like, I had a good run at the star, and Ed hit a three, and Amir Kois had a couple of layups, and Mana hit a couple of layups, and we looked up, and we were up five, and it was a competitive game, and then from then on, you know, the competitive juices just mm -hmm. started doing Okay, so, so you got, were you watching? Were you guys both watching this game? All right, so I have a question. So, in the, in the power rankings that were put up recently, what's the name? Um, do you guys think it was just a really bad game from Damascus, or was it a really good defensive game from... Dacha, or was it a mix of both? I think they just played pretty bad, honestly. I think they could have won this game pretty easy. Sorry. But <laughs> they just, like, look, they shot pretty bad. They shot horrible from three, free throw. And it was just overall. I don't know. When it, when it comes to that, it's like, it's like, I mean, you, you have Yakub, right? Who, who one week will give you 25, 25 yeah. easily. It's like, it looks crazy. And then I just. For, he just desperately needs a left hand because, like, <laughs> desperately, like, so badly. Like, I don't mean this like, oh, I have the best left hand or anything, anything but, along yeah, those lines. Yeah. But, like, he's driving right. Like, he can only go right, you know, most of the time. It's like, yeah, he can probably out, he can he can move Mana out the way, but Mana has the length to reach over and, and get there in time. So, more, like, he's not getting open. Like, he's very, he's a very strong guy, you can yeah. tell. But, like, he's getting down there, he's not getting open. And on top of that, it's like, 
It's like you know when he gets the ball, he's either jabbing and shooting or driving. It's like there's no in between. He's not giving up the ball. So like when you see him go in, it's like yeah, just collapse. So I just I just feel like it, just move it one for eight from three. Like I don't know. The entire what team to, five for twenty two from three. To echo what Hassan said, this team they had nine points in the whole second half. Okay, yeah. that is an outlier. Yeah, we held them to nine points. They had thirty points in the first half, nine points in the second half. Though I am oh the Tony Allen Hamza, that's not that's not realistic. I mean, no team is gonna have nine points in a whole half again. Yeah. But I think they're very easy to guard due to the fact that they're just really slow. Like. Jake will get the ball for about 10 seconds, hold it at the top of the key. Yusuf will get the ball for 10 seconds, hold it at the top of the key. There's no ball movement. There's no fluidity at all. So that's, I feel like that's their biggest, that's their biggest mistake. Like they just, they don't pass the ball enough. There's no movement. Their offense is just very easy to read. Like it's either going to Jake and he's going to go to the basket or Yusuf is going to go to the basket. Just, just for the comment about Yusuf, it's like, I just feel like for him, it's like kind of similar. Like most of the games, like at least when I'm watching, he starts off. Very passive. He doesn't attack the bat. Like from what I'm watching, like the first half, so most of the times, like not attacking, he'll get a screen set from that. Like he'll just use it and then look to pass it up. Mm. And then he like we'll go later in the game. Then he becomes you know significantly more aggressive. And that's how it was like last week. And I guess I, I, yeah, 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 like he got like it, to the end. It's like that's when he like, he realized, oh, I got more aggressive. I, I don't think it should be taken him. I have to do that. I think he starts aggressive at the thing. And then if it doesn't work, maybe you play more passive. Uh, so, honestly, one one thing. Sorry. Um. um one thing that I've noticed about this team was when someone makes a mistake, they like, like they make, they let them hear it. They're, they let their teammate hear it, but in the wrong way. Too many times am I seeing someone shoot a shot and just miss. It might be, be even a good shot. I see a, a Yaqub or a Yusuf or whoever it is, just like wave their hands, let them hear it. Like, what do you shoot? You can't be doing that with your teammates, especially not during the game. Maybe after the game, you tell them in the way that you have to, but not during the game. He's definitely right. That I think that was another huge key for us. Our first four games, we just always put our head down once we conceded a basket and everybody's yelling at each other. This is the first game we were talking to each other like regular human beings. We weren't just yelling at each other. So I think that's a huge thing. That helps confidence. That just helps the team chemistry in general. To be fair to them, Sal was missing. I know Sal is a big piece. True. He hasn't really had a breakout game yet, but he helps with spacing a lot. So the spacing on the floor would have been a lot better for Yusuf and Yakub to attack. But at the end of the day, I mean, lockdown. down. He got yeah. Mustafa Brown, bro. I'm high on him. If he just bulks up a little bit, he'll be a he'll be amazing. He he hit four threes last game, and this game he took three shots. I mean, we gotta get him more shots, guys. What do we? I need Mustafa Popovich. You gotta go back to the drawing <laughs> board, bro. Trying the offense. It's not enough just to just stand there. Your presence isn't enough. I need you to run a couple plays, maybe a back door or two. Get get them some easy buckets. Yakub's going into five people every time. I need the guys to be a little more aggressive too. That too. I mean, there's saying, too uh, many, but, like there's too many. It's like I know, like you know, two for I think he went two for five from three. But there was a couple. It's like they're open, and I know he can hit them. Like we all know you can hit the shot. And there's times where he's not attacking the basket. He's super fast. Too. He's like, ridiculous. Like, yeah, he's, like, he's ridiculously yeah. fast. Strong, like, fast. Just when everything. he's playing passive, he's just not attacking as much, or like it's just it just doesn't work. Like he had eleven, but I'm like he could have had significantly more. Like I'm sure. Elias is. I think Elias is the X factor on this team. Like Yusuf will give you those 12 to 14 points. Yakub will give you maybe not 25, but he'll give you those 15 to 20, maybe 18-ish. And then if Sal hits a couple of threes, then Elias, Elias has to be assertive, whether it's scoring or passing the ball. He might he has to be that second ball handler on the team with Yusuf. Sure. So that's that's a very big deal. I just wanna what's it called? Push my attention to two seasons ago. Uh, I played and Maradaj played on a team that was two and five and went to the championship. So, uh, you know, don't be surprised. Stop if, Gavin, bro. Don't be surprised. Stop <laughs> Gavin. Don't be surprised he doesn't if, believe that. <laughs> he don't believe that. Don't be surprised if you guys see DACA in the championship in a couple of weeks. All right, fellas? Just don't know, be surprised. I who would they play second round? Surprised. Based right now, who would they play first round? Us? Uh, I think, yeah, right now we play you guys. Yeah. So that's chicken. That's chicken. Matt is already down to bet against me. So we can. Chicken. I, I'm 2 0 and MVP bets right now. And then we know what I did to Abdul Hadi, so he doesn't want to see me again. So stop, stop, stop. Whether it's eighth. Or get seven. him out right before he plays us. Yeah, right before he plays us. That's what we need. You, you said chicken. You said no team is dropping nine points. We've had to hold you guys to 11 and a half. Okay. And that was legit. Was 11? That was a legit okay. 11 points. You, hit double digits. you guys weren't shooting. Nine back. points is crazy. Okay, okay. Single that's, a a layer. Layer. That's, that's a layer. layer. That's a layer. It's 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 a lay
Yeah, yeah, it's uh, documented. Yeah, yeah. And the front of the past four, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, that's what it was. Yeah. I was uh, doing after gap day four. <laughs> that's what I love. That's what I love. Right, so, uh, during after gap day, it still got blown out. Yeah, uh, <laughs> he missed the bench of this. Okay, <laughs> 9 p.m. game? All right, whatever, guys. The haters feel me. So, 9 p.m. game. Uh, that's a Duque. Du- what, du- career high, right? 34? So, yeah, okay, yeah, let, me, let, me, let me talk first. Let me talk first. So, we started off this game horrible. Real, just real quick. Jerusalem Kabul is the 9 p.m. game. So. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, we started off the game horribly, defensively, offensively, whatever it may be. And I have to say, all credit, all credit to this man. Why? Mm-hmm. He's the one who got us going. He started scoring, and it just opened up everything. Everything just opened up. The floodgates opened, and water just... That's it, it was over for Kabul. Starting to that second half, like we were close to the four point game at the end of the first half, and then just 20 points in the second we half. We were down four the whole time. The that was that, time. It was that close the entire half. It was that close, and then right, right out of the second half, Hassan was aggressive as could be, and that's what we needed, and it, and it got us going. So, yeah, uh, that's what I have to say. Real quick, I got the MVP right here. I don't care. Like, if you want to. I don't know, bro. Let him wait, wait, I have to say, it was, it was a, so our two MVP picks uh, that, that were like the MVP consideration were the first overall pick and the third overall pick in this draft. Yep. Hassan was in the fourth round. Hassan was in the fourth <laughs> round. The end of the fourth round. Oh, actually, middle. middle, 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 middle. <laughs> this man is Isaiah Thomas, 60th pick in the draft. <laughs> Nobody cared about him. Went and gave you guys 34. Shout out, Jamal Hansalde. But, uh, yeah. I was watching this game. I know Kabul had like none of their players. They just picked up a bunch of free agents off the street. So like, to be fair, to Jerusalem, Jerusalem, <laughs> Jerusalem was expected to win this game, but Kabul actually put up a fight. Ilyas actually took initiative to start the game, like he should have been doing for the past four games. He was making shots. I know he tailed off a little bit at the end, but Kabul was going to need Ilyas to step up if they're going to be even close to competitive. Second thing, I know Shafiq came a little bit late, but three for six, playing with five guys you don't know. Shafiq has to take at least 15 shots. There's yeah, no for question sure. about no, it. No, yeah, for he sure. was top five pick in the draft. I can't see Shafiq shooting three that's, for six. That's his the team. game for that's four, his two court. for that's seven. His team. 100%. But, uh, yeah, Kabul kept it close in the first half. It was actually a very entertaining game. Uh, shout out Omar Kassim making a return 11 points, three for five shooting, six rebounds. We know Okas is a MB vet. And, uh, yeah, what do you think, Chosey? I think. Once once he got hot, that's after that. Was it over? Like, yeah, it's me or him. You, me. Because once you get hot, I think that whole game. They just feed off. Yeah, it, yeah, it, yeah it, for it, sure. It I mean, I the reason like it was close in the first like, and this is one of the reasons I think the reason it was close in the first half. We had a ridiculous amount of fouls in the mm-hmm. first half. Oh, yeah. It's like we couldn't go thirty seconds without you know us committing a foul. So it's like every ten seconds the ball is stopping and we can't get anything going. Mm-hmm. I don't know. They were coming down and like uh, that first, those first couple minutes, yeah, everybody on the team yeah. was in. Like, like everybody was in on that team at the beginning. To Hassan's yeah. point, Kabul thirteen free throws, Jerusalem six free throws. So yeah, they, we, we they were there a, a lot. So uh, I don't know. Our free throw percentage sucks. Man. But yeah, Jerusalem. We know that they're Jerusalem is actually a lot of the times they're a second half team. They kind of tend to start a little bit on the slower side to get like I guess their legs under them and everything. But once they get going, we know they're gonna run up and down. Ida's going to get a transition. He had 11 points. A quieter yeah, game for him. We know he could have 15 to 18 he's points when he runs. Sure. His motor is crazy. Yeah. He, he doesn't get running. tired. He, no, he doesn't. Never all stop game. running. All game. And flopping. Yeah. Flopping. He <laughs> literally no, he always... Get, no, those are fouls. I'm standing by him. Those <laughs> are fouls. No, every no, time. No, 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 no. Ida needs, needs an ice pack for his neck after every game. <laughs> That's right. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's ridiculous how bad he sells it. Shout out Ahmed Saleh. 5 for 10 from 3. Listen, if Ahmed Saleh hits 4 threes, they're... The Jerusalem is winning. Like with <laughs> with what with what Hassan is averaging about eighteen. Almond is averaging about fifteen. If we get another guy that has fifteen points, and this is without Farhad, their first rounder, oh, their first rounder has not even played the last two games. This guy is a, he averages twenty points a game for a career, and we still haven't found him. Like I don't know. There's a missing sign for Farhad, but he's just letting the young guns play in the playoffs. You guys, they could kill you inside and out. So Ahmed Salah, Hassan, Almond. Shout out Abad, the awesome team player. Yeah, oh, yeah. Defensively, yeah, he does bench for us. Like, when we yeah. come in, no, no, for yeah, sure. Yeah. Like, we're losing in games sometimes. Yeah. Or, like, we'll, we'll do bad and we'll come down. It's like, Abad will speak, and now I'm ready to run through a wall. Abad is a Udonis Haslam yeah. type player. <laughs> Seriously, yeah. like, he gets us so, so like. I do have to say about the team, though, 
the, the better stat lines, I think we changed something in this last game where we were finally getting me and Ahmed to like actually play to our advantages, which is run around, come off screens, find the ball, right? Usually we do the on-ball screens, we switch it up a little bit, we got back to our off balls, and me and Ahmed finally started to get something going, finally. Well, so, the, the game that, for that note, the game that like that wasn't working with their, their team, right? Yeah, that yeah, was, yeah. Well, yeah. I, Personally, I think it's because they played it well. They knew. Yeah. And it's like they knew. Some it's like, oh, it's like, oh, we have somebody setting the screen. It's a double home, but leave this, leave him. Leave, no, leave whoever set the you're screen. Right, you're right. You're right. Like, yeah, you can't afford. You can't afford. You can't. That's right, why right. I think it wor didn't work there. It's like we're saying here, like that was, I think, obviously. Yeah, yeah. We wait. And no, like, we I, I agree one hundred percent. It's just even then, like, even with some like I've played in games where people are grinding me. They know the way I play. Like people like will go out of the way to even foul coming off screen so they could get over the screen stuff. But compared to this game. In this season, I haven't run anywhere near as much, and that's why I, I, I feel like I thrive personally when I'm just constantly running. And you guys had 13 assists this game. That's yeah, 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 yeah. And shout out, we gotta check your shoes on much. 10 rebounds. Yeah, well, <laughs> no, it's not like, it's not like, yeah. one more. I was one off the double double. You guys didn't know the NBA actually just banned the shoe because it helps with the bounce. We gotta check what I'm wearing last week. 10 rebounds for a little O. We might have to change. You went 34 9 4. You might have to be big O now. Is, is, if you you if you you know I was getting down at the free throws I was in the box I was beasting for that last right. one. Player of the week, uh, game of the year, performance of the season, thirty four nine the, and four, bro. He's the MVP. He's different. If right he's now. not one, then he's two, and that's okay. But he if you know you know you might look two. a little unathletic running back on D. I, I we see the little chicken walk when he runs back on D, but don't jump with him, bro. That man is he's averaging about three blocks a game. Mashallah. <laughs> So, uh, last game, 10 p.m. game. Yeah. What was supposed to be the game of the year? Uh, TNT crew was locked in. <laughs> I was there. We could have went home and had like some good food. Uh, Omar was there. We all were there, and we see Zane show up in street clothes. Yeah. It's like when you tune into Lakers Clippers and you see <laughs> Kawhi in street clothes. Though that's not a shocker because Kawhi took about three years off, but that's a different topic. Uh, Zane told me he injured his back, so you know, inshallah, speedy recovery for him. We hope he's back before the playoffs, or at least before like one game before the playoffs, so he can get his legs under him because that's a big miss. One of the best players in the league. But uh, how do we feel? Do we think if, if Zane played instead of, of course, Mohamed was instead, but say Mohamed was there and Zane was there, do they win or do they, or do you guys still think so? No, they still lose. They still lose? Why? Bro, I think. I think Zane's team wins. I think Zane's, Zane's team, team wins with Zane. Zane's team wins. No, no, with, because here's the, like, me personally, I think. Abdul Hadi like could put us like slow him down to something. Like, I think I think Abdul Hadi could guard Zayn and like I don't think it'll be a crazy because he's you know his size is yeah. as tall he's very lengthy. Yeah. So I don't think Zayn would like because he, he cooks everybody. Right? Yeah. When you watch Zayn, he's, like, he's moving like a guard. So like I don't think he'd do that against uh, Abdul Hadi. That's me. So I don't know. And then he, I guess yeah. maybe that takes like the the thing and make the pressure off and like Amir gets open and I guess he could have more. Yeah. But I don't know. That's just me. Um. Why do you guys think that Sam Bad still wins? Because all right, look, Amir had seventeen, so he probably had what was that the? Oh, you know, he won. He had a twenty-two, but that was like probably. So Amir is the one who I feel like Amir is the one yeah, yeah. who was stuck up, stuck up more than. He anything. did, but here's the thing, like, bro, Zayn, yeah, Hassan has a point. Like, he's hasn't guarded nobody has guarded him like Abdul Hadi probably would guard him because he could You're stay with him laterally. But Zayn is more than just a scorer. Like, Zayn could create for his teammates. So if Zayn could create for his teammates and get Amir a couple open shots, right. Splash two points, I needed more from Splash. For, for sure, Zane. for sure. One for a nine, I need a little bit more from Splash, and I, I think Zane score. would get him that. Zane would get him a couple more open threes. Idris wasn't playing. Idris wasn't uh, playing, which was also huge. If he plays two, they win, I think. You got, okay, but you if got spacing, you got Zane, you got me. That's what it is. Yeah, but it's fair. Like if we're talking about players that didn't yeah, play, yeah, well, yeah, I bet you know, that that's not play. fair. Full team, full team. Full team. Sana, I think, is a better team than Islamabad yeah. because I think Islamabad is a little bit dependent on Zane yeah, for sure. offense. But we're talking like if Zane was supposed to play like he was supposed to, and Bilal, we know what he's doing somewhere overseas, <laughs> doing his thing. I don't know. Middle of the season, he says he's a baller and he's off, but whatever. <laughs> if Zane plays. First of all, he gives Abdul Hadi, I think, a little bit of a tougher time. And I think Amir's points get a little bit higher. Mohenna Deeb, who's a, not a bad player, I think he'd have about 14 to 16 points, maybe off dump offs from doubles. I think Salim and Semna maybe have a couple bit better games. And I think just overall, Zane changes the pace of the game. Like, Zane is huge. For sure. Yeah, well, I agree. No, I agree. For sure, for sure. But yeah, you know, Abdul Hadi, what? 
Death was, taxes after that, he's 27. Like, yeah, yeah, honestly. Yeah, yeah honestly. Like, 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 was the only other one doing, bro? in double digits. Kadeem was the only one, but he didn't even shoot well. So, like, it really was just... Just having the head, but, then, but they all they all present a uh, defense, man. They're I was great. I was just gonna say he's good. He's so for sure. Yeah, he's great. Like, he's, he's a great defender. Yeah. He's a great defender. Oh, I know he's he a nice one. I watch him play. He, yeah. he knows how he to knows play. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, he, no, he's very good. I feel like I sometimes doesn't show up on the stat sheet, but they were quadruple teaming him, bro. Four on one. Ridiculous. Uh, that is still okay. fading okay. away. He's got three people on him. Might have been more than four. Yeah, four. Yeah, yeah, four there. people jumping with check, him. Check the photos. There's a picture of four guys on Abdul Hadi and he's just raising right And he has there. Third. nothing but that. He probably made it. Oh, yeah, 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 nothing but that. Yeah, 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 no, it went in. Didn't you hear me? 27, 27, 11, and 6, 10 for 17. That's a bad shooting night for him. Only, only 65%, whatever that is. That's ridiculous, bro. I don't know if the power is in the long sleeve. We've been over this. He had a fresh cut this week. Fresh cut, Abdul Hadi might be more of a demon than he already is. I don't know what it is, but yeah, he's ridiculous. Yeah, really. Um, and no, but like, I mean, Kadeem had an okay game. Mo must be two for 10. Mo must yeah. be typically will make yeah, yeah. more yeah. Yeah. Uh, Jihad's been averaging, I think, like 14, 15 points. He only had eight points. Like, dude, just. I think, I think it's not a bad. Did Dude, well. Back, I think it's not that did did well on the people that they could do well. <laughs> no, they yeah, they, bro, <laughs> they, they just can't do anything around that. Fifty I points, fifty points with no Zane and no with the yeah. That's amazing. But he did go four four for eighteen from three. Is that? Splash was a two like, yeah. back to back air yeah. Splash yeah. one for nine yeah. is yeah, one for nine. Yeah, this should be happening. But this would be completely different if the was there. Of course, yeah, but. To be fair, but I wasn't there, so I mean, I guess we'll have to wait till the playoffs to maybe see this matchup. I said Doc was gonna go to the championship, but maybe it's not the best option to be a championship. <laughs> All right, so that was the weekly wrap up. Let's uh, go into a little bit of predictions. We don't want to steal Alonzo Ball's thunder, but week six, week six, what we got over here? Seven oh, p.m. game. Yeah. This is now the game of the week. Okay, <laughs> no hazard. Nobody get injured. Oh, Bismillah, Bismillah, yo. If everybody's healthy, this is going to be an amazing game. Jerusalem, Sana, 7 p.m. Bring your popcorn, except for me and everybody. <laughs> bring your popcorn and get ready to watch an awesome game. This is going to be a dirty game. It's going to be a gritty game. I think... Uh, start, start predicting for that. Let us predict that. Uh, <laughs> you might be a little biased. But that's back, though, this week, right? Yeah, but that's back. Jeez. Right, I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry. Yeah, but that's back. But I also hasn't touched the basketball in, like, two weeks per sources. But, uh... <laughs> per woe. <laughs> per woe. He has a I, meeting, so he has a bit of a catch. Yo, I'm gonna go with the upset. I got Jerusalem. I think, they're, I think they're clicking on all cylinders. I think that hasn't played yeah, no in two bias, weeks. And, uh... <laughs> no bias. So, no. I got Jerusalem by three. Okay. You still got... You got seven half? I'm thinking about it now. I mean, if you're playing the way... Like, yeah. If you played like you just did, yeah. I got you guys. But can you... Like, Am I dropping 34 again? I, I, guess. I no, think you I, are. I, I, think, well, I, think I, think there, I heard from a source. I'm glad you're going to guard Hassan next game. So Yeah, well, that's that actually, the one game I go off, the one game he's watching comes up to me. He's like, yeah, let's see if you do that next week. Yeah, I'm you. I'm glad they did just, he put Hassan on his list. He's Xing him out. Yeah. He wants to guard him. Yeah. So if he could stop Hassan and maybe slow him down, we don't know what Jerusalem could do. Uh, without him, that'll mean little O will have to step up. So, how do you guys feel about your um, game? No bias. Actually, you guys probably. No, no. I'll, I'll, I'll tell you. You know, you know, I'm objective with these things. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, sure. No, really, really. I think, I think. First of all, Farhad is going to be a major factor in this. We're going to need him. Oh, to exactly? Yeah. Oh. Huh? You know he should change, change my answer. He should be. He should I got you guys before. Do you, do you, know, when you, do you know, know when, know when we know if he's coming or not? He always tells us 10 minutes before <laughs> yeah, the game he's yeah, not yeah. coming. Yeah. He's like, yeah, I'm not coming to the <laughs> No, but he'll <laughs> figure it out. Oh, he'll show you the messages. It's yeah. like always 30 minutes before, yeah, I can't make it today, boys. Yeah, good luck, no, though. Farhad will come back for his uh, friend. We're going to tell him. We're going to tell him. We need him this game. And, it, it, right? and the other thing is, we cannot start as slow as we've been starting. True. If we For start sure. Slow, we're For, we're, we lose. We're I think we start that so, bad, we, we lose. Nah, but that's going to come to play. Right away. Right. Right. I mean, nah, but that's going to be a breathing hard in two minutes. Yeah. Uh, I don't know about that. Hopefully. Hopefully. <laughs> <Talk about. laughs> yeah, I, mean, I, I tried to guess, you know, I swear. But, uh, uh, but yeah, so... Uh, we have to we have to smother up the Hadley early, and if I feel like if we could do that, just to get in his head, like at least um, we could. I think I think we could pull off an upset, but I mean, if we're talking being straight objective here, I think 
So now it has shown better. Uh, on paper, yeah. Like yeah. If we're they talking yeah, strictly on paper, I think. But I think we win by a uh, buzzer beater. That's what I mean. No, 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 no. no. Oh, no. Oh, that's a backdoor cut. Here's what happens. <laughs> yes. <laughs> exactly. Oh, that's a backdoor cut. Here's what happens. Here's what happens. I think it's either me or I get doubled. And somebody's over. He's one of us hits. And one of us hits. Yeah, they leave you out. They leave everybody. They choose to leave you. I want it. But I got us. I got us. Like I really want to win this. If this happens, Hassan is the new host of the podcast. I'm not even coming back. He's legit calls the games. Yeah, bro. Yeah, he's amazing. Yeah, he's amazing. But uh, all right. So you're losing. Yeah, I'm 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 losing. <laughs> that is a clean sweep. Yo, I believe that's over. 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 I believe from what I heard, I don't think Zane's gonna play this game because it's a back injury. Back injuries are weird and like you know they flare up randomly. So All right, let's not. Hey, take take another week. Aim it out. Make it fair. Let Shaw Zane look good again. <laughs> um, without um, Zane, I'm gonna take Lagos, especially how they're yeah, looking so if, far. If there is no Zane, Shazay, Lagos. If there is Zane, it's not. Shaw Zane, ten for twelve. Singer, yo, Singer has sacrificed so much for this team, and he's like I'm, the engine, bro. Singer, though his stats might not show us, Singer's making the right passes. He's playing right defense. He might not have the he scores timely buckets too, but Singer has just been like the everything. Did, did we say that on camera or he's, off camera? That he's that was all he's been, Singer is the heart of this team. We don't win a game without him. Singer is the boost. Singer, yeah. everything you do, I love. I love yeah. Him. So, oh my god. So uh, glad so, that we said that. Yeah, Hassan, what do you say? Yeah, what do you got? You're gonna ask me? Nice. Oh, yeah. We'll get to you, bro. You're the star of the show. Yeah. I don't. <laughs> Screw this guy. Yeah, just like if. I think if they're both healthy, like both fully healthy, everybody's there, I still think I choose them. Yeah. But Really? Yeah, I think so. I, I think they could do it. I, I really do. Because if he has a good game, which he most likely will, I and then just Sinja just gives you. Sinja could give you like 10 to 15, I, and then, you know, Amen's just grabbing boards. I think. And, and I think Amen could, you know, like. Semi keep up. Okay, all right. I'll give you a look. Who? Okay, so like, I'll, 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 I'll think, I'll think about it. I'm, I'm thinking about it. Uh, I kind of like it actually. Who's going to shots? From the sound of Salim. Salim's their best. Oh, player. I forgot about Salim. No, Salim is gonna give shots a yeah, run for his money. But like I said before, okay, bro. Bravo, Singer, Scott, right. Singer, and Modayan and. Amen and yeah, like they have. Okay, it's, it's definitely easy, not. It's definitely not. It's not, it's not, it's not, it's not, not a bad easily. Easy. It's definitely not an easy. It's not like you yeah, know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's other teams in the league. You just you know take away that one ball handler and they kind of lose their swords. They got three, four guards yeah. that can all make plays. Yeah, for sure. So, so yeah, but healthy. Yeah. Zane is huge, bro. Zane is like literally. You're not gonna gone. stop Zane. Yeah. Yeah. You're gonna limit yeah, him. You're not gonna stop sure. him. For sure. Yeah. All right. So who do you got then? Come on. <laughs> Come on. What's bro. next? <laughs> <laughs> oh, us. I got us. Bye. Oh, without Zane, twelve. With him. I was like Yo, seven. seven. Zane, please come in like Rocky music. Like I want to play. I want to play. Come in. I'm just saying. Sure. 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 I'm sure. I'm sure. I'm sure. I'm hoping he's there. We can sell him for us too. Yeah, that's what I want. I won't do it again. So if Zane's there, I got Zane. I got Sam. Okay. So the 9 p.m. game. Uh, Kabul Damascus. Um, uh, the, I don't know what Kabul team is gonna show up. Like, yeah, yeah, it yeah, might yeah. be like one of almost pillows get picked up for this game. So. <laughs> If Kabul is fully healthy, like, they're a team. Like, Kabul is a team to be reckoned with fully healthy. And after that beating, we just gave them masters. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I'm kidding. But I think, uh, I don't think Ali Hassan is going to play this game either. So, without Ali Hassan, I'm going to go to masters. I think they're going to just, they're going to be pissed after what, exactly. last week. I, I think the same Most thing. Most of them popping is going to be filming. They have, so yeah, they exactly. They're going to, I think they're going to come back up. with And audience. they have nobody that can stop Jake. Like Kabul. That's what I was thinking. I was really thinking. I was like, yeah. who, who are they playing? Ali, Ali, Ali Armani has the same. I don't know if he's going to play either. Yeah, that's the cap. He does. I'm telling you, this Coke bottle could be. <laughs> they could be playing for Kabul. So I'm going to take the Maskers. <laughs> I'm going to take the Maskers just because I don't know who Kabul is playing. I agree with you. I think. They're going to be pissed about losing to you guys, especially because you guys have won. Yeah. Nine points, bro. No, I got. I have more than one half, but that's a different story. Masters by eight. No, no, no. 25. 
Yo, Shafi, if you're hearing this, we please, know bro, I'm waiting Shafi, for that Shafi. Dude. I need, I need, I need Shafi to show out, bro. Uh, we all know. Bro, we, we all know. Yeah. We all know. Shafi, we need a signature performance from you, bro. I need you to get in the lab. Stop working. You know, tell your job. <laughs> one week, I'm off. I'm taking vacation. Oh, boy, I need bro. to get in the Seriously. lab. Get your priorities straight. You're getting ready for playoffs, bro. Let's go. Uh, I think they're the same Damascus blowout twenty something like that. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I, I, I just, I'm trying to think like who, who's. I don't know who's playing, play. bro. Yeah, literally, no, seriously. Hopefully, Shafiq comes on time to the game this time. You know, time. That too. I'll call it. I'll call it. Wait. Don't do it. Don't do it. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. I thought I was on that. Forget. Screw that. All right. So then the 10 p.m. game. This game's gonna be a good game. Game of the week. It's gonna be a great game. No, all serious. Jokes aside, I think this is a great game. You know who's on the court? I need have some 30 points. Yeah, I'm on, I you. Agree. on I you. I on you. <laughs> Scream. He wants you there. That's what we want. So the Doctor Cash guard, what are you doing? Doctor by forty? No. Thirty? No, no, I don't know. Twenty five. Is Maddox back in this game or no? <laughs> I think so, yeah. I think no, Maddox I think back. back tonight. No, I think uh in the States. Yeah, I think Maddox should be back and I think mine I d I don't know if he's back or not, but uh I don't think it matters. I got cash guard. First one of the season. I three points. I got cash guard. I think it depends. I, I think got cash guard. I think if uh Raza No one could match Raza's speed. Oh, no one, 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 that's he just sits there. He just sits there. there. And there's no, there's no defense. Oh, they got big O. He yeah, just sits there. No, he should have just. I got, I got cash guard, man. I got cash guard. <laughs> I feel like if Raza plays the rest I'll of the game. I'll think about it for my, for my Saturday uh, predictions. Hopefully, I get it on Saturday, but. <laughs> yeah, but if, I mean, what? Big O shot one for nine. I'll probably hold him until like one for nine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Big O, I've been lifting. But, uh, <laughs> you yeah, bro. Doc, what are we? Bro, Doc, a bite. Bro, not to lie, it doesn't matter. It's a W. So we'll just, we'll just keep Cash it. guard by cash guard three. Cash guard. I actually got cash guard by like. These guys are haters. You know, go, 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 you don't go, go, have go, cash guard by listen, listen, no, listen. No, no. I'm not saying by that much, but listen, listen. As as good as Doc did, as man. good as Daka did, they have too much to prove for me to just buy in on that. You know? Like the first time Look, I was impressed. I was impressed. Uh, okay. Uh, you had come on. Yeah, but, early in the yeah, what about like, oh, yeah, your week performance? We had no like, you decided listen, to attack the Bastards. How did you guys do week two? Listen, week, week, two. Week, two. Listen, week one we had no matter. No, week two it was a competitive game. It wasn't a blowout. Let me see that. That's my point. Against the Bulls. What? They had a full <laughs> team though. <laughs> they had uh, Ali played that They game? had Ali and everybody. And we were up at half. So Some guy named Dofik Hamza was selling that game. Three for 14 is crazy. That's a different topic. But you gotta shoot more. Hey, it gets me thinking. Well, I shot well, well last game, so if it keeps going, before from three though, right? What happened? <laughs> I told you, I got a thing with my elbow for some reason. Once <laughs> I get behind, no, the, the air conditioning is crazy. The air is cold in there. It throws it off. Because sometimes I don't wear the long sleeves, sometimes I don't wear the short sleeves. I don't know what it is. But I understand. Trust. Yeah. When so, you shoot, look the other every time. That's probably what it is. It's gonna go in. Promise you. you promise you. But uh, yeah, that was the roundup of the predictions. Yeah. Let's just look at a couple of season stats real quick before I know the podcast is a little bit longer than usual. Please stay tuned. Yeah, I think uh, we have yeah. fun this one. If you guys <laughs> click on the stats, I've had these on like every single stat basically. <laughs> but uh, one, two, I do want to point out Hassan is top five in points. He's Number one in assists, second in steals. In he's second in steals and he's second in I'm blocks. I'm a shooter. I've been trying to tell you guys. I'm a shooter. Bro, no, has is second it. in blocks. Hassan is like five nine it. with LeBron's on. MVP. I'm telling you, bro, he's MVP. But I'm a shooter. I've been trying to tell you guys hey, for hey, like hey. a long time. Look, look, maybe, sure. maybe. So look, if we're doing the no, if we're doing the NBA MVP, then it's Hassan because. LeBron's been the MVP for the last ten years, and they keep giving it to other people just to give it to other people. Okay. And he has right? played like. Five years. I know, but like it's like we know I just had I just had it averaging twenty two twelve. Exactly. So did, we say this, did we did we say this like Ponte, when we said remove him from the team and then remove me from the team? Did we like yeah. after, yes, remove yeah. Hampton yeah. Hadley from the team? They're a good they're they're sure, they're they're a three, good two. team. Because now we have turns up if that's them. but but I that yeah, hasn't been there for two weeks. That's what's crazy. No, exactly. Literally, like, they're, they're literally blowing out. They just blew out the second. Well, no, Zane, but like they just blew them out. To be fair, okay, but they won't be four. They won't be five and up. Yeah, no, they won't. But they're positive. Okay, they'll be positive. Okay, I think they'll be positive. Look, I don't, I don't disagree. I don't disagree that your impact on the team has been the most, the, the, by far the most, the yeah. biggest impact. But if you say we take you off the team, I don't think we're a bad team. Yeah. I, no, I don't think you guys go. Oh, no, I'm not saying you guys go. Real quick, real quick, real quick. One just went. 
Tyson Chavan leads the league in three point three. Three point three goals. That, I'm, I'm a shooter, it. bro. I'm a shooter. I'm a shooter, bro. And then I just got. I'm a shooter. That's what I was talking about. Anybody that sees Tyson Chavan shoot, it's like a Lonzo ball on steroids. So for that, it's like a Steph Curry. That's what it is. That's the truth. It comes in steroids. But let me shut up. And and then blocks also has that. But I was in steals too, but he just beat me this game because I only had one last game. Oh, shoot. Yeah. Where? I, oh, I'm back. Oh, I'm back. Hey, we're about there. <laughs> yeah, uh, so, yeah, just what, what's the top three MVP, real quick? Yeah, it has to be. I've been so, had I sent 1A, 1B, and then uh, Zane. 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 And then Shazay is probably four. Yeah, that's, that's then, valid. Uh, yeah. That's valid. I mean, after my performance. Stop, 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 stop. <laughs> but yeah, uh, that's it for the pod. Thanks for listening, everybody. Shout out to our guests. They were awesome this week. Yeah. And uh, yeah, Matt, if we didn't really miss you, it's not my everybody. Put your feedback down below. And yeah. It's done.